New from us at five, a grand jury will decide if two people will face murder charges from last year. Our Brendan Kirby has a new information on this case. Brendan, testimony indicates the victim was lured from a motel room in Tillman's Corner. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. The uh, motive was robbery here, according to the testimony. But the defense attorney for one of the defendants says that there's no evidence that his client was involved. Mobile police responding to a shooting at Center Street in Wood Alley in the Plateau community on April 26th found 34-year-old Dijon Washington on the street with fatal gunshot wounds. Police put out a be on the lookout for a van driven by Miranda Gamble, and she was taken into custody the next morning in Georgia. But she wasn't charged. Detective Rory Graves testified that investigators wanted to talk to her, but that she wasn't at that time a suspect. Charges didn't come until police arrested co-defendant Jeremy Adams last month and Gamble earlier this month. Authorities charged him with murder. They say he's the one who pulled the trigger. Detective Graves testified that Gamble lured Washington into the vehicle. Miranda Gamble is charged with felony murder because we believe the evidence tends to show that she intended to participate uh, in the robbery that then led to the death of the victim in this case. But defense attorney Chase Deerman points to testimony from Detective Graves that Gamble told authorities she overheard Adams and someone else talking about a robbery, but that she didn't know it would happen on that specific day. In that car ride, my client overheard something to do with the robbery. She didn't know when or how it would ever take place. They go to a place, they get out of a car, the guy pulls a gun, starts shooting, and both the victim and my client start running. And that's the simple end of it. The detective also testified that text messages recovered from Gamble's phone showed that she was involved in the robbery planning, but her attorney says that was Adams using her phone. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.